G'day, g'day, my name's Jim, and today we're going to be pulling down this Azito 2 amp battery. So I went to use this battery and it had shit itself, of course. So uh, I decided, well, we'll pull it down and uh, have a bit of a squeeze inside, as well as we could probably pull out the batteries and reuse them. Or we might be even able to get this running again. And, well, of course, you know my favourite saying, it's already fucked, you can't fuck it any worse now, can you? So I've ripped a few screws out of it. We're just going to see whether there's anything else holding it in. No, it just comes apart like that and, ugh. Ew, not good. Not good at all. This is, um, yeah. This is no, ugh. Ugh. Oh, I don't even want to fucking touch it. Yuck. Um, Shit. I'm thinking about whether I just throw it in the fucking bin right now, actually. <laughs> um, ew, it's all greasy, and it fucking stinks. This is not very good at all. Um, okay. No, it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with this at all. <laughs> it's fucked. It's, it's fully corroded. Um, it's obviously gotten some bloody water or something in there, obviously. Um, and I'm, well, I'm not really surprised, actually. I, I actually thought these things would probably be a little bit more um, weatherproof. So according to this, they're a TP lithium-ion 3.7 volt CR18650, 200 milliamps, MH46259, PI110E. So it doesn't even have the uh, maker's name or anything on there. I might have to look that last couple of numbers up and see if I can find out who makes it it's actually got me stuffed why these aren't better protected you'd think they would be like you know they're on tools that are out in the paddock or out in the fucking workshop or something like that you know they're going to get splattered with water they're going to get splattered with oil they're going to get fucking shit and piss thrown all over them and dropped in a box these things get treated worse than an airport rental car so it's got a lot of dirt and shit all around the connection um it's got a whole heap of friggin right there Ooh, it's um yeah that's definitely where it's been shorted out and uh even the bloody uh battery terminals are all rusty and corroded on one side as well so yeah look that's how bad it is a little transistor or something just fell straight off ah uh, dear <laughs> Well, we could try putting the multimeter on it, just in case, I guess, and see. That's if I can find anywhere to even friggin' get a decent connection. It's just, it's fucked all over the place. Um, dead, dead, dead. Yeah, all bloody, all under a vault. Yeah, half a vault. Dead, dead, stuffed, dead. Once they get below 3 volts or whatever, or 2.8 volts or anything like that, anything below 2.8 volts, I wouldn't even think about trying to use again. They're absolutely fucking rooted. So, yep, that's it. That's about all we can do. There's nothing left of this thing. It's absolutely cactus. So, oh well, into the fucking landfill it goes, I guess. Unless we find some bass that wants to recycle them. Take him to the uh, metal place, see if he wants it. Shame. Shame. Oh, well, what can you do? Nothing. So while I was having eggs on toast for lunch, I looked up that battery number and I couldn't see nothing come up at all. The only thing I got come up was shit from Banggood and stuff. So, yeah, got me. Well, that's about it, boys and girls. And at least you know that uh, just because I say, can I fix something and it's posted, doesn't mean I can actually fix it. This is the real world here. <laughs> the real world with Jim. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, you know what to do. And if you didn't, you know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, then you better comment below. As per usual, you'll be good. You'll stay safe. And we'll see you around like a wrist trendsetters. Play that techno! Come and play everything's hey, okay. Techno, techno. Cosmo, 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 Cosm
If you like my videos, here's a few more for you to watch. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss my next video which will be out in a couple of days.